Now continuation of previous video. AB is the plane wave front striking the surface S dash obliquely at point A. CA is the incident ray. AB is also the incident ray. Now this is V1. Please do not get confused. V1 into T. Well, I write it here again. V1 into T. Okay. Now, where is the angle of incidence? At point A, we draw normal. And this dotted line is normal to A SS dash. Here, this point is N. So, NA is normal to SS dash. This is angle of incidence. And by using the property that I have discussed earlier, this will also be the angle of incidence. I hope concept is clear to everyone. Now, in this, apart from A and B, I'll take one more point, say M, in between A and B. That I'll add later on. Now, the time in which disturbance from B reach A dash on SS dash. Now, how to get that A dash? I'll make a straight line. And suppose this is point A dash. And let T be the time taken by the wavelet from B reach A dash. Then this B A dash will be V1 into T as written here. Let T be the time for the edge B of the wave front to reach A dash. So that B A dash equal to V1 into T. Now, in the same time, now when I say in the same time, it means the time in which disturbance from B reach A dash. In the same time, disturbance from A grows into a sphere and takes radius. Now, there are two situations. We have to consider two situations. First, SS dash absent and second, SS dash present. Now, if I say SS dash is absent, as it is written here, in absence of SS dash, the wavefront AB would have advanced to position A dash D after time T, where A dash D is parallel to AB and AD equal to and AD equal to B A dash equal to V1 T. Now how to mention this point D? Just have a look. Now here I am imagining SS dash absent and what I'll do? I again take this thread. I'll measure distance from B to A dash. Okay. I'll treat this initial point as point A then I can make an arc. Now, when I make an arc, then I'll get a point D here. Now, make sure that the line which is along this thread is parallel to this B A dash. So, here I'm drawing a dotted line and make sure that this dotted line runs parallel to B A dash. And here, we join A dash to this particular point and this point acts like D. Now here, in absence of SS dash, AB would have advanced to position A dash D and AD is equal to B A dash equal to V1 into T. I hope this point is clear to everyone. Now, if I imagine a point M here, suppose, say a point M and uh, let me draw the incident ray for this as well, small b, Bm is the incident ray. Now, just like B A dash, the wavelet from M advances and in absence of SS dash, it may take the position. How to show that position? 
first of all i'll draw a thick line up to this point on the surface and then i draw a dotted line let me name these points suppose this point is p and this particular point is q i hope you are getting my point this diagram is quite important now in absence of ss dash ab would have advanced to position a dash d and we come up to this point ab ad equal to ba dash equal to v1 into t but in presence of ss dash as the wave front advances the points between a and a dash successively struck by the wave fronts become the sources of secondary spherical wavelets now here what this these two lines mean in presence of ss dash the points lying on wave front ab will strike the surface ss dash and they will strike the surface ss dash between a and a dash as they strike as the points on ab strike between a and a dash the points here start becoming sources of secondary wavelets and the time in which disturbance from b reaches a dash in the same time disturbance from a grows into a sphere of radius a b dash that b dash is still to be mentioned grows into a sphere and takes a radius a b dash and remember this a b dash is less than this b a dash why because now light ray is moving into the second medium where speed decreases so obviously the distance traveled decreases i hope you are getting my point suppose from here wavelet reaches up to point b dash now how to show that b dash thus after time t the secondary wavelet from a in medium 2 has acquired a radius ab dash check b dash is yet to be mentioned ab dash equal to v2 into t velocity into time time is the same and speed is v2 and remember v2 is less than v1 so this v2t it means ab dash will be less than ba dash whereas the secondary wavelet from a dash has just started so when wavelet from a dash just started wavelet from a in medium 2 acquire a radius ab dash equal to v2t now ab dash equal to v2 into t equal to v2 as it is now replacing this t from this particular equation ba dash upon v1 equal to t so what i am doing i am replacing this t by ba dash upon v1 now what is ba dash ba dash is actually ad it is equal to ad so in this equation we can write ab dash equal to v2 upon v1 into ad now how to show this ab dash check v2 less than v1 it means ab dash less than ad as v2 less than v1 so ab dash less than ad so i'm sure that distance ab dash is less than distance ad again i make use of this thread i'll measure ad and now i know ab dash is less than ad so instead of taking complete length let me shorten it suppose i shorten it up to this particular point shorten it up to this particular point where my finger is and then i make an arc okay then i can make an arc again i'll continue in the next video